It's never been harder to truly disconnect and rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit than right now. Why? Well, in a world of endless connectivity and noise, the constant barrage of information is leading us to overwhelming stress, disconnecting us from inner peace, and making us strangers to the natural world around us. But imagine if there was a way to cut through the noise, a path less followed that leads to true serenity and self-renewal. Well, there's one place left on earth that truly achieves this. Woven into the fabric of ancient Balinese traditions, deep in the roots of Hinduism, there's Nyepi, or the Day of Silence. The final day of a week-long ritual of purification, sacrifice, confrontation, and finally, renewal. There are three steps to achieve this in Balinese Hinduism. Malasti, a cleansing ceremony that begins as a chance to purify religious items and oneself in Bali's sacred waters, that quickly turns into the possession of the human entity by spirits and deities, designed to cleanse the individual and the community of evil influences. Ogo Ogo, a vibrant explosion of community creativity and togetherness that dispels evil forces among us, symbolized by giant demonic effigies that parade through the streets and then set ablaze in a spectacular purge of negativity. And finally, Nyepi Day, a day of complete silence. Where noise, light, and even leaving your room is not only forbidden for the ceremony, but illegal by local law. A chance to convince the evil spirits that nobody is home. A chance to start a new day in complete spiritual rejuvenation. In this video, we're gonna discover these three ceremonies together with a raw and sometimes confronting experience on our path to true peace and silence. So after making my way down to the beach, I struggled to find the ceremony itself and I had to ask quite a few locals on the exact location of the Molasti ceremony. You can walk all the way to Petitangat too. All the way that way? Okay, yeah. awesome. Thank you so okay, much. Thank you, Suksuma. <laughs> I've been walking for so long, like so long, all the way down there and I I found it. Yes, yes, let's, let's get across. Look how many people there are, there's so many people. There is so many people. I've been here for ages and we're still just walking past. There's so many people coming down here. It's It's been going for minutes and minutes, like a long time. There are so many people. Um, they're obviously coming back up from the beach um, to go somewhere, but you could see the massive statues they've made of these um, beings. and. I saw a couple, but obviously we're going to see more in Yepi Day, which I'm really excited for now. I even thought I'd missed most of the ceremony as most people were leaving the beach. Good man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But Michael booked me a grab bike to the correct location and I was on my way to experience the big Molasti ceremony. We've run into the actual parade on the street here. Which is what I've come to see, but now I'm stuck behind it. I was stuck in this parade on the back of the of the car and now we're here and I'm just in the middle <laughs> I'm just in the middle of this there are so many people and just like nowhere to walk but this is so fun this is cool there is so many people to participating in right now this is insane I'm heading down to the beach to see if I can see the cleansing in the water um, it might be over right now I'm not sure but I've traveled to this place because this is where it's meant to be big for like a long time. And as you can see, there's a parade all the way down to the water. Um, so I'm, I'm just in it, I guess. <laughs> I guess I'm going to the water. I think what they're wearing as well is maybe the batik or the special batik for today. And it looks really nice. So they're wearing all white shirts, but they're wearing different colors sometimes on the bottom. So if that means something different, let me know. Or if it's just personal preference of what color you want to wear on your bottom, then tell me, tell me that as well. Tell me in the comments if you know. So they're all coming from where we were on the road, down this road, and then coming up here on these ramps, and then coming into onto the beach down this way. And there's just obviously, as you can see, so many people around. This is really cool. This is, this is awesome to see. Look how many people. 
So what am I searching for? Well, the Molasti ceremony is probably the least known of the three main parts of Nepi Week. This is where locals will head to their local beach to purify themselves and religious items in the ocean. But it can get dark pretty quick. <laughs> Possession and dramatic manifestations see individuals become mediums for evil deities or ancestral spirits in a process that's called Trihitakarana. And this is something I had to see to truly understand Nyepi. This is, this is like intense, like this is so many emotions I feel like I just, in this area, oh, me right now, and I'm not even the kind of person to feel like, like this, like this is very spiritual and I can, I can feel it, I can feel like I can feel a lot of heightened emotions. Stroke. I honestly, I know that this is so such an important celebration for them, but to do it in the heat like this is so hard. Like I feel for them. I just bought a Bakari sweat, even though I don't like Bakari sweat. That was honestly intense. That was one of the most intense things I've ever seen. Wow. So because it's about an hour until the Oga Oga parade and ceremony starts today, which is about to happen and I'm so excited. Things are closing for Nyepi tomorrow. Tomorrow is all silent. Nyepi, I'm getting ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have to get all of our food now because everything's closed tomorrow. Suksamagaki. Oh, hello. <laughs> so all of our orders are coming at once. Michael, right? Yeah, I think. For Nyepi. Suksamagati, thank you. <laughs> so everything's closed tomorrow, like everything. You can't and order. We're and we're rookies, we don't know what to do. We're trying to order everything, like all of our food, all of our water, all of our drinks, everything for tomorrow. Because as of like tonight, we're locked out of our, we're locked in, sorry. We're locked in our complex completely. Well, we we can't leave. The very front gate, so there's probably about 10 houses and a couple of villas in this complex. The front gate will be lost. This is our rations. This is it. So the one thing I didn't think I'd be able to live without tomorrow is coffee. So we've ordered one litre's worth. Um, a lot of the places, like the local coffee shops I wanted to get them from are already closed. A few businesses though are doing like packs. So you can buy like satay ayam, which is like chicken skewers in bulk. So that's going to be really helpful. We weren't prepared for this, so we weren't sure what to get. We figured we can eat cold pizza tomorrow without making too many noise or lighting anything up. You can buy coffee by the liter, packs of chicken satay. You can order on Grab Mart or go to the shop and stock up. Like we said, things might not be open tonight after Oga Oga, so we're trying to also eat tonight and then eat all tomorrow when we can't leave. I, for one, am super excited to see like everything quiet. No lights, no sounds, everyone out. Apparently you can see the nicest stars tomorrow because there's nothing impeding the view. We'll see how that goes. I'm trying to be silent for me. <laughs> so we're walking down this thing and I hear, oh, there they are already. They're obviously getting ready to go. Oh, wow. So they're the ones that we actually went past this morning and they were in that temple, obviously like kept away for tonight. Um, and now they're out and they're getting ready to go and see this like bamboo, I guess, I don't know, thing is where they put them and then they carry them around on that bamboo. Um, so this is cool. Wow, they're so much bigger in person. See, they're still working on it down here. I guess they're putting on like tape and stuff for like the light. As you can see, like most of them are like young. I think it's like the youth to do. Like uh, a lot of the youth or the younger males of the um, like area kind of take it on, I suppose. Hello. Hello. Oh, go, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's so big, yeah, yeah, it's massive, they are a lot bigger in person, like, they're like, well, this guy's 
taller than me. It's a big thing to make. Like I'm, I'm really impressed. All right, let's let's keep going. The younger men make the ogogo and run that, and the older men are security. And these guys, tomorrow on Yepi Day, are also who make sure you stay inside and do things. It's not the police. It's the leaders of the community. Ogo, ogo, here. Yeah, here later. Uh, at like seven. Seven o'clock. No, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Yeah. Okay, and it comes through. Yeah, period here. Okay. Yeah, that way first in double six. What's that? What's this? Balinese yeah. sword, traditional. And what is it called? What sword? Balinese sword. Balinese sword. Traditional. Oh, yeah, it's cool. So it seems to be around seven, but it depends on where things start and end. They're kind of made all over the cities and the towns, so you'll always kind of find one being made roughly where you are. We've made it to where I think it's starting, or oh, there's some bigger. Oh, go, oh, go. Oh, there's, this, there's so many. Tato, Dua, Tiga. Wow, there's heaps. Okay, so this is a place I think that it starts or will start. This one's, this one's moving. Like, this one has its head like swiveling. How do they get it to move like that? I want to know how much they take to make. This is insane. How long do they make these for? I'm going to ask these guys if this is their one. Is this you, your one? You make it? Five million? Five million? I'm gonna ask these guys now. Is this, this yours? Yes. Yeah. Um, Brapa, Baya, Ben, Foot, uh, 20, uh, 30 million. 30 million? Almost 30 million. Really? Yeah. And how long did it take you to make it? Three months. Three months. Three? Yes. Yes. That's a Tiga? Yeah. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. We start in January. In January. Yeah. Wow. And a lot, um, a lot of time of the day. Like for, a, do you do it every day? You make yeah. it every day. Yeah. Wow. And how how old are you? Yeah. How old are you? Seventeen. Seventeen. Twenty. Seventeen. How old? Seventeen. Wow. That's so good. Yeah. Fagus. Fagus. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. That is crazy. They worked on that for three months. And they said they did it every day. They're 17 years old. This is what I was saying where I said like the youth lead the making of these things. Three months to make it. Wow. 30 million. How much is that? 30 million rupiah, three grand. Holy moly, that's crazy. So the purpose of these og ogres is to like stir up these bad spirits. And then tomorrow we all go into hiding and then these bad spirits that are out and released think no one's around and then they leave the island. Hi. You have a card for the four thing? I'll vote for two! these boys. Apa kah kamu membuat ini? Ya. Ya? Ya. Uh, yang ini? Ya. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Bagus. Yeah. Bagus. Salaman dulu. Salaman dulu. Salaman dulu. They're so cute. Hello, my friend. You, you check your YouTube? Yeah. Oh, I show you my YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you have this? I'm sorry. They're my friend, my friend, yeah. That's okay. Okay. That's uh, 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 young ini. I, I'm sorry, yeah. Aku? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I watch it. Okay. Where's your phone? <laughs> yeah. My YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna watch his channel while we're here. <laughs> Aku? Yeah, I'm saying the phone. Wow. Aku? You? Me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's liking. Yeah. Subscribe, like, <laughs> thumbs up for the video. Oh, he's commenting. Make sure you leave a comment. What are you gonna say? Very nice. 
Yeah, yeah, nice. Oh, Teramakasi. Oh, yeah, we'll comment on yours. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. let's comment yeah. on yours. Cardo Fazilaja. Yeah, let's okay. like, okay. like. Yeah. Let's go comment. Uh. There you go. Mutual support. Yeah. Mutual yeah. support. Okay. okay. Thank my, you. My, 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 my friend oh. in is Bali. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay. Sukhsa Magati. Okay, Magati. Sukhsa Magati. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. We'll go back this Thank way. You. Okay, okay. <laughs> After hearing about the monumental effort that goes into making these from the locals themselves, we settled in ready to watch the battle happening until just minutes before the ceremony was about to start, a torrential He's downpour right of He's rain right rolled in. Ah, it's actually really bad. Go over here. Delaying oh, everything as people here. scrambled for any bit of cover that they could find. We walked around aimlessly, drenched, not sure if the parade was going to go ahead at all, with the electrical components in these massive ogogos. And just as we started to wander back to our village area for the local show with the smaller effigies, we were caught in a swell of people and ended up part of the Ogo Ogo parade itself. Ogo Ogo is not just about showing off and making the biggest and baddest creatures you can. This is participated in every village on the island at all different levels. And after experiencing the big dance in Kuda, we ended up back in our village to see the local show. In the same manner, it would be celebrated by millions of others at the same time all over Bali. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, Ogo Ogo. Kapan? Kapan. Kapan. Yeah. Kapan. Kapan. Now? Yeah. From here? Yeah. yeah. Lagi sebentar. Apa <laughs> <laughs> you want to practice Indonesian? I'm I'm trying. Oh, okay. I'm I'm very new to learning. Oh, okay. Yeah, I learn slow. <laughs> yeah, Are they, they coming? They're going that way first. They're going that way. Okay, I'll wait and here. And maybe in one hour. Let's one hour? Yeah. Okay, one Go more hour. Dinner. Go have dinner, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, six of our gati. Six of our gati. We've come to the local part now. We went back to our villa and changed clothes because we were soaking wet. And now this is the local, local Oga Oga coming through here now. And look how like, these are obviously still big, but like, oh, look at all the kids bringing you. Oh. Let me see. Apakah kambu mubuat ini? Uh, they call it like Randa. Randa? Yeah, I think so. Ah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's big. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, really big. Uh, Oga Oga? Yeah, it's called Oga. Oh, ah, nice. Yeah. For Nyepi tomorrow, yeah, right? Chibu, yeah. Okay. So, do you like Nyepi? Oh, bagus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, very good. It's okay. fun. Yeah. I like good. it. Yeah. Suksu magati. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Just to give you some reference, we came out at 4 p.m. It's now almost 10 p.m. So, yeah, it's late. I'm not sure whether the rain held up things or, or what, but it's all starting again now. We just waited here for another, like, two hours. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> After waiting for hours, we'd reached the peak of the Ogo Ogo event. Led by the youth, the males holding and battling the Ogo Ogos, and the girls carrying traditional fire torches, with a group playing the kukul and other traditional instruments. So this is Nepi. It is the day of silence. Let me tell you something. It was super weird waking up to 
absolutely no cars or motorbikes at all. And if you've been to Southeast Asia, you know that that is almost impossible to imagine. So I can quite literally hear nothing besides the birds. <laughs> it's surreal, it's surreal. Now not only are we not allowed out of our villa, our complex is locked shut. No stores are open. You can't get food, you can't get grab. You can't even fly into the island. The airport is closed. It truly is a day of absolute silence. <sighs> wow. From what I've heard from Indonesians or the Balinese is that one, the sky is beautiful tonight because there's nothing on and there's no lights and the sky is magical. So I can't wait to show you that later, but two, they use this as a day of reflection and relaxation and I guess just coming back down to earth because Bali is an incredibly, incredibly chaotic island. Not only the amount of tourists, but there's just always something happening. I think for them, it's also just a day to reflect in the quiet. And it certainly is quiet. So in the end, I did experience true silence. Nothing like I had heard before. In an island so famous for tourism, traffic, and a constant stream of development and growth, a standstill is found, only once annually. It's honestly amazing and impressive that a place that is now generations deep into tourism identity has managed to hold on so tight to its spiritual and religious roots. And this is something that you will notice if you get away from the normal tourist track of Bali and speak to locals and experience the island in the way that they would want you to experience it. Bali gets a bad rap from some people, where I'm from, it's considered a holiday for those who may go there only for cheap beers and fancy hotels, but I promise you, it's so much more than what you think it is. Next time you're seeking spirituality, natural beauty, smiling people, and that rare feeling of absolute silence, visit Bali during Nyepi. It just might give you a new outlook on life. Thank you, Bali.